Welcome back to the NDS. We are here at race six at Bristol Wide. Taking a look at qualifying. Up and down. There we go. And we're going to get ready to go here. P car is rolling off. Pace car. Going to make the violent turn down the banking to get on the pit road as Bissell pulls this field to the green flag is out now at the Freightliner 500. So the start of this race they're going to start using up all the lanes they can as the bottoms where you want to be though. There's a lot of time, a lot of place to go. So even though Bissell was on pole, there's still plenty of drivers rotating to the lead. I'm not going to call it every leader. It's like, oh, Mizzou, oh, Silent Fang, oh, CS. It, it'd be a hopeless endeavor. But so far, everybody seems to be pretty competitive here. So... It's looking good so far. Just keeping these guys rolling good here. 13 second laps it seems. And only to be improving on them. Definitely a sense of pushing it to the edge. Although you don't want to go over the edge though. That'd be a mistake. Midfield isn't much better. As there's plenty of cars taking high, middle, low, and whatever lane they want to be in. It's like, holy shit, how do you pass? Yeah, more closer to the front with Eddie. He looks like he's on his way there. Uh, this track is plentifully wide. You could probably, not probably, definitely get 10 guys side by side. Pretty much consistently if they work together. But, you know, it's racing. You don't really work together with your opponents. You know, unless you're uh, a dirty manipulator. But no one does that here. Vent Nation definitely looking to have a better season compared to Season 2. He knows what it's like to be in the Final Four, but Season 2 just wasn't his uh, day. But this time, it should be good for him, hopefully. On the other side of the coins, Silent Fang, who had a mediocre Season 1, midfielding it, and was pretty much gone for a good chunk of Season 2. Is coming back stronger than ever. There are a significant amount of drivers up here that have not been to Victory Lane. Silent Fang, Zents, Canadian Lux among them. They're looking to put one put a one good race together. Get some new winners. Uh, Chalk Killer, we saw him in the mid-mix there, and Cade making great ground on the bottom. Looking to keep his uh, points high, especially when he's gonna, not going to be in the races with his part-time schedule. And the 51, just feeling like it's been too long without a win. And yeah, I'd say... Plenty of drivers who ever haven't been to Victor Lane at all or haven't been in a long time. Vet Nation, another driver looking to put one in there after a long time. 
And then look at Duke. He just wants another one. Getting a four-win season last last season wasn't enough for you, Duke. Pretty unfortunate he got eliminated in round of 12. He could have made a hell of a good championship run. They're very wide back there. It looks like they're easily five or six wide. Back there, it looks like the double zero really having to go out to the outside to avoid from getting messed up there. Well, let's just go look at uh, Chase Camel Toad. You see cars everywhere. And the banking doesn't help either. Just goddamn. I think Volley's in the back, so definitely see even more cars. Just. You're only a few seconds off, but the leaders are an entire straightaway ahead of Volley, and even then, that's just scary because they're just. They're making great time on this track. Jake up there leading a couple laps. Before passing it off to guys like Hyper and Cade. Like the racing here is nice. Pretty consistently uh, clean. It's like everybody ganks until the caution comes out. And then she really hits the fan. This track's really grown as a fan favorite despite its... Uh, Aranus issues. I don't even know if that's a fucking word. But. Yeah. Definitely working hard to. Get around that corner. Like if a track like this existed. You're like you just kiss those tires goodbye. You're just eating them up every lap. Just to be this fast. Exalta having a low key good run. In the last bit of this race just pulling around working his way up Caden okay, just doing good oh snap back to born ready born ready has had a weird career but he's looking to bounce back After shedding the 47 car for a new JTG car number. See what he could do with it. Kruger Meyer just. He's just kind of been here. Milling around. Mid pack, not really doing much, but uh. Still trying to just, just rack points, do decent. And as long as you don't shit the bed, you should be fine. Because once you get like this early in a season, one good result can really swing you up the points. So it really messing up like a small handful of times in the early stages of a season doesn't really matter. It's just the mid season where you really gotta start putting in work. RS pulling that bottom lane around. Kryptonite just in this little uh groupy groupy here. Like Toad and Duke. I think Duke has been consistently near at the front this race ever since he got there in the first place. I'm not sure if he's really let that go. Kryptonite sure as hell likes the short track life. Fifty two rolling the mid. Yeah, hung like a police car. Coming five almost five wide. They could eat yeah, five wide's easy here. Just just every car just needs their own room to run. They should be fine going as wide as they can. All the fast lanes kind of bunched up there. Up in one place. 51, just rolling. 
rolling, 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 rolling. God damn! See that one racer near the front. Uh, I found a track that can actually fit the 99 car. Uh, I'm a comedian. Racer out front, but he's he's not gonna hold it for that long at all. And I'm going pretty fucking wide around this track, and not just this track. 99 goes wide everywhere it goes. Alright, I should stop making uh, racer wide jokes. Ah, uh, Blasto just looked like he got like claustrophobic there for a second, but he's rolling the center fine now. Jerry up front. Like, so many different. Uh, cars and lines are on. They don't get they don't get separated from each other. So, so if they want to make pit stops, they better like damn make damn sure that they uh can get down comfortably. I think I I definitely laxed it so they can extend the amount of green flag laps they run, but they still have to do the uh service. On the small lane around the middle of the track, right around there, that yellow line, the cones, the everything. So once that happens, it's like the shoe waiting to drop. Everything goes wrong. Uh, Jake running it high around there. Uh, just a general rule of thumb: be near the front should work for you. Now I see Duke like in the midfield. It's like the first time I haven't seen him up front. All race long. Once again, the fast lanes have grouped together. Basel just doing Basel things. Most drivers are able to stay in the groupish. I mean, the last few kind of fell off, especially Caddy King, but. Other than that, it's mostly just fine, a fine drive. You can just see them all go in, a few stringing out, and the 43, unfortunately. We'll see what they do come uh, a small glimpse into the future. CS definitely putting himself near the front, wanting his name to be known. Laundry Sauce and Arn making a hard commit push right now. These Arn needs a good run. It's been this his season has not started well. And Laundry Sauce just has not had a good career. Period. Um, uh, here they come. Yep, the beginning of pit stops. They just need to get slowed down in time and they'll be fine. Maybe we could actually have green flag pit stops that don't completely dick everything. Oh, God. Oh, F4 Ace is spitting. And, yep, that's going to be the call right there. Yep. Uh, tell me you like short tracks without actually telling me you like short tracks. I don't know. Who the hell even got nipped ace anyways? Part of me wants to do this race without cautions, but that would be the single most demolitionist derby idea I've ever had in my life. Like, it's not even any one driver's particular fault. It's just... Ace just made the turn down to pit road, but the 33 just held his own. Maybe Ace needed to get a little lower to pit. It, it's it's just dumb. Well, those that want normal points, they're going to have to wait.
Let me get closer to the pace car so I can tell when the one to go is. Ah! There are more drivers definitely sitting out to the leads laps than I thought. But there's only going to be 14 competitive drivers even racing for this dub. Everyone else is just not in it at all. Ladion, so I'm kind of glad Ace isn't winning because he was the guy who tripped this entire fuck stand in the first place. Several drivers losing ground. And quite a lot of them are down on their luck, either one or two laps. Well, can't think of a better place to do it. Everyone should be pitted up by now, so... I say that as Ladion immediately causes a caution. Jesus, fuck. And Italian bum is on his roof sliding. I mean, drivers get waved around! I guess! And Blasta couldn't avoid the Zents. Up oh, hyper oh, Jesus. Yeah. Man. Man. There really isn't an explanation for this. Like oh god, Zents just drivers trying to avoid it. The six just they get too wide. And King freaking in the middle of track, Hyper and Ace and Sauce and drivers of fucking everywhere. Who the hell nipped King? Oh, Blasted did. Actually, never mind this little bit right here. Fucking Ladion just decides he's gonna pit it right into his shop up. And then. Fucking Zen's. Italian Bum involved. Italian Bum gets put on his fucking roof by the 19. Uh, that was actually a pretty big hit for Mizzou there. And yeah, Italian Bum flips it back over. And freaking starts just trucking around the bottom for another lap. Like. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens. Alright, how the fuck did that sort everything out? Like, I'm assuming everything's even worse now because this this track is whatever at this point. Like, oh my god, it made everything even worse. Like, you would expect those drivers to just get waved back around and then something else happens, but inexplicably we have even less traffic on the lead lap. Exalta, you are three laps down and need to pass those drivers who DNF'd. Jesus, man. Understand your mission. Alright, who the fuck is even lead lap right now? I don't even... Did I just see... Oh, my God. Alright, so... Alright, let's take a look. Actually, we got 12 lead lap cars. Ironically, the gap between drivers who are on the lead lap and drivers who are not on the lead lap are actually is getting even bigger. So, uh, yeah. We're about halfway there. And maybe these guys actually know to stay away from pit road because it's a fucking blade. Born leads BS, fast lane 11 to the restart. Born already gets that, gets that sweet ass jump. And Chippy and Ladion pit it again. Yep, yep, yep. I think Duke and Silent Fang could make a good uh, run at it for the lead. See several drivers in several different laps. Oh my god! Lucas Cram! What? Hold on! Hang on! Hold on! Lucas! Like, what the fuck? People want you, people want you fucking, god damn, people want the 47 relegated from the league and he's definitely not helping his own case, 
just freaking ramming it into Mizzou, who, mind you, has top five despite fucking having an open cut fucking hood, getting passed for position by the fucking double, double zero car. All right, Jesus Christ, Chippy, who is running a lap time of 20 seconds. Maybe he's not up to speed. Excuse me. He's actually trying his fucking best. RS Fast 11 somehow is... Alright, Chippy's getting better speed. Fucking Krugermeyer, whatever. Jesus Christ. Fuck you, muscle memory. Duke's leading. Now it's time for a word about our sponsor, Freightliner. Freightliner, from what I have gathered, gathered information on the internet, they work with, like, big trucks and, like, larger-scale vehicles that haul things around the country, you know, just supply trucks. Those 18-wheelers that haul shit, I guess. I'm repeating myself. They specialize in big trucks. We're racing at a big track with a pretty big field we're racing with and a pretty big announcer, too, so... Jesus Christ, fucking racer fat chicks. Uh, yeah, Freightliner. You probably can't buy something from their company, but they do work with trucks. Anyway, back to the race. Christ. I, I, I can't find anything right to say about that shit sometimes. Yeah. Well, the field has certainly had thinning out with different speeds. CS, looking like he can go for a position. Silent Fang, also running. Uh, it's kind of like working together with the fast lanes. Yeah, Goofy here. Yeah, Goofy, legitimately looking like a fucking ROTY contender right now. Jerry, actually doing good with speed as well. And once again, Duke. Duke just having a good day. With 23, surprisingly. Not shitting himself. Let's take a look at some slow cars ahead. 85. Laddie Hunt and Exalta somehow for position. Let's take a look at the lap down meter of everybody. RS, first car lap down. Actually, Vent kind of battling those guys who are one down. Kryptonite's also one down. A lot of two down cars. I know that Exalta, uh, King, and Laddie are all five down. Laddie on going to be six down and a few DNFs. Ah, not terrible. I mean, to be fair, if you have you watched the previous season race, yeah, I feel like it was definitely unfair what Zens did. Um, like the field just. All that room on the racetrack, and they still ran into Zeds. That's a bro moment. That Basel just trying. It looks like he's two down when they get one of his one of them back. Kruger's fucking four down. So the fact that he's as competitive up here as he is now is kind of impressive. Like, here's another flash of the top 10 uh, drivers right now. Seems like those guys who are a couple seconds back actually might be trying to make up ground. I find it hard to make up ground without being in a giant group together, so it feels weird seeing these isolated groups. It's like Talladega, but worse. Uh... Well, the eight car is not having speed, so I expect the main group to make great work of this pack. Actually, Board and company are being held up by this eight. The Duke is honestly just putting this field to frickin' rest so far. But 62 ain't done yet. Let's just take a look at, uh, like, an aerial shot of cars just flying around. I see another group there. It's just, like, 
so isolated. Still plenty of drivers left. Just I'm just imagining like the ultimate shit hitting the fan once someone spins in the middle of the racing line. I don't think that won't happen. These drivers last pitted, like, none of them can make it. Let's be honest. They've been running for about 15-ish so laps, and they've still got 50 to go. So, pit road will come in again. This track is basically just pit road equals death. I somehow got two fucking appearances in this in the league. What the hell is the Silent Fang doing with the 51? If he was any closer, he would have just shoved his entire nose up his ass. God. That born a Duke keeping it competitive. Where's Ladion? Yeah, he's just fucking shit himself ever since he brought out that Mickey caution. What? Too close? What, is the word Mickey Mouse hit too close to home for some of you Nidecar fans? Well, fuck you. The Duke's still keeping it real. Cha is going his third lap down. So, yeah, it's very hard to, like, when you have a bunch of drivers on a bunch of different laps racing each other, it makes it weird. Like, you just see all these cars, and it's like, they're not all on the lead lap. This is strange. All right, Vet Nation. So steady as he is. Oh boy, they're running up on a couple lappers there. I think it's the uh, leader 62. So Ladion will go his seventh lap down as that happens. 18 trying to catch this fuck. I think Exalta also went a seventh down. Like, those two are just so slow and so close to each other. Exalta is being mildly competitive, but Ladion just can't get anything done going. 23, serving it up on the bottom. Yeah, Mizzou, who's going to go his first lap down, and Laundry going a second lap down. Yeah, Mizzou just doesn't have the firepower. He was in the top five earlier this run, but he just does not have the firepower to keep up with the big boys. It feels bad for the 19. He was doing pretty good for the hand he's been given. As RS and Vent will see this car as just another piece of position that they can take. Honestly, just just hunting and gathering every point you can find. That's kind of what the name of the game is. Born ready. Cycling one up to the lead there. CS yes, Bassman 11 still got, still hunting. You thought he was a couple seconds back and out of this, but he's not, uh, he's not gone yet. So that leaves 10 lead lap cars. Yep, just those 10 drivers getting a good, eating good with a finish here tonight. The CS just challenging Born. Born ready. This just punctuates just how competitive this season particularly is going to be. Like You have a lot of drivers, a new faces fighting at the front, as well as the old guard trying to look, reclaim their glory. It's just, I just love just how much 
Like, there isn't really going to be a normal, especially if dumbass management keeps putting tracks like these on tap. Kyle D, unfortunately, going to lose a position to Krugermeyer. Actually, nah. I think he's actually racing the, um. Oh, racing the one for position. Jeez, imagine getting dumped for 30th when the fucking leaders are right around you. Goofy was running fourth when that happened, and he's got some damage on the right side that he's gonna have to nurse around that. My god. Uh, say it ain't competitive. Yeah, that's right, you can't. As Born Ready takes the turn down to pit road, he's going to chance it there with a stop. As we see a couple drivers making their move, Volley, Vent among them. Oh, RS Fastlane 11 with a save. But that's going to be a caution right there. Yeah, just it's what it is. That's just what it is. Krugermeyer didn't get the memo. Uh, fifty-one coming in. Fifty-one coming in. RS Fastlane Eleven does a great job countering the spin and not getting drilled by anyone else, and then cuts right across the eight of Kyle D to put his car to pit road right there. He just wanted that stop. And I'm not sure if that'll be well worth it or not. And actually, looking for a way out right now. All right. I don't know what that does for uh, drivers, but CS is staying out. Vet Nation made a full ass stop under green, and he is. Yeah, he definitely paid the price there. Is he went from being one to four laps down. Volley among them. It is so weird seeing how track position plays out here because it is, it just is not normal. This this track is anything but normal. It's CS, then Goofy. Then Canadian Lux, then Duke, then Racer, then Silent Fang. Just six cars to the lead lap. Uh, F4H running P7, one lap down. There's a lot of drivers at several ranks of lap down. They'll be racing among themselves, but it's six there were to take the green flag. As a couple more drivers coming down pit road. Goddamn, fucking. Yeah, a small gang of cars pitting right there. Let's go back with Goofy. And he's him, Duke, and Lux, and them are all pitting. Like, what the hell? These are our leaders. They're just taking quick splashes and goes. So I guess this relief just Racer and Silent Fang. And there were two. Silent Fang just stuck up on the outside. So uh, Racer just walking the dog right now. Get a free, get a free dub. Silent Fang hard stuck on the outside. And there's like hordes of cars just in this mix here. I can't even tell. Like, Kryptonite's got a top five run going so far, but he's just not. He ain't shit so far. Honestly, the biggest beneficiary of some of these cars pitting right now is Arn running third. He's just. You wouldn't know because Bristol Wide is just such a shit show. Kryptonite taking that third place away. Those guys who have pitted, they're 
but they're going to pay for it with at least a couple laps. Pitting on the green just ruins your runs. High for running P31 RS with an 11th so far. And Racer just kind of being a boss. Man's got nothing to worry about. No reason to do it. The Silent Fang has no cap. No chance. No fucking chance with this 18. Like, stretch out this view and you just. You see how sort of hopeless it is. 99 disappearing around the corner before you get a chance to see him. Just annihilating all those that stand in his way. Could this be the beginning of a rally for the 18 team? Even then, there's that big gap. It does not look like it can nearly be enough. Racer, really high over there, though. With just a small handful of laps to go. The 99. Just smugly in that group there. Don't think you've got anything for him. Just three more circuits. And it'll all be put to rest. Man. Talk about chaotic tracks. Well, we've got a prime example of one right here. White flag. 99 coming through 1 2 trying to distance yourself from traffic just stay clear take the checkered flag racer gets the win at Bristol wide Absolutely no doubt. The laps are absolutely fucked. Like, I saw Karibo nearing the top 10. Near the final restart, he comes across line 26th. I mean, this is what you got. Like, Shit's absolutely going down. Two cars just lapped everyone else. But, uh... Definitely get a good job not DNFing the motherfuckers, but, uh... That was still a tough scene. Anyway, that's been Bristol Wide for you, And we will see you... Next time!